let's sit down you guys and have a conversation a chat because i don't really have any friends period but that are also fashion lovers and can fathom the concept of dying to spend a thousand dollars of your hard-earned money on a pair of shoes they're not sure whether or not to buy just two pieces of clothing that come up to the same price while also battling that with the need to go to the dentist yeah, I have no idea why people can't relate, but you do, person over the internet, and I don't know why, I usually I'm really comfortable in front of the camera. Knowing you, potential friends, that get me, are right there? I don't know. It's actually awkward. Now I gotta pee. I'm back! So, long story short, we can't just buy whatever the fuck we want. And I would love nothing more than to show you guys how gorgeous all these pieces are by putting them on a body But being a little bit more attainable guys Nothing is sponsored in this video. Everything mentioned are from brands companies. I genuinely adore First up is Mason Cleo. The vintage bowed up blouses and the vintage collars are pretty familiar to a lot of you guys that watch my channel There is something just so much more appealing made from women for women by a killer mother and daughter combo. Their clothes are all about killing fast fashion trends. So they're all about slow fashion. And everything is made from sustainable dead stock fabrics. It's the dream team. Don't fight it. And the style is so chic and empowering. Everything from their knits, their bow blouses, their sets are adorable. And they come in all sizes. This is adorable. This one's a cute one. Licky boy. Clothes are so cute. You will wanna look it. No. I thought that would work, but now I'm filled with only regrets. Licky Boy takes our obsessions with knits and crochets, mainly crochets, and turns it into colorful tops, bottoms, and two pieces. Their stuff is just super, super playful. And I feel like the most amazing thing about knits is their colors and textures are just so fun to match up with your clothes because the material contrast is so intense. Look, they even have bras, nundies, and the cherry on top is that all their stuff is handmade, aka slow fashion. And you get to support a woman run brand by women. Women kicking ass in the world. Women with agency. I don't know, I'm so happy to see it. Do you guys have prints? Like graphics, like drawing shape and colors, but on clothes. Like, ooh, that's pretty. And bam, you're wearing it. You are art. <laughs> I can't say this is too corny. Anyway, that's just what this brand kind of reminds me of. And maybe I overcomplicated it. Fiona O'Neill is a designer that is queen at optical illusions. All of her clothes are fun and gorgeous and full of color. Another woman owned brand. And what? Yes, she's also about that sustainable fashion and sustainable fabrics. My dream is just to have all of her prints and kind of smash them together. Like, functionally, not a go. But aesthetically, I wish that was me. Minus the horse. No, I'm kidding. As if. Definitely the horse. Okay, okay, guys. That thing we wish we could all do. Effortlessly turn up to the thrift store and buy a bunch of things that nobody wants to turn it into. The most gorgeous patched work clothes. Yeah, that's Miller Sullivan. <laughs> and no, it's not easy. 100%. She's a boss lady. All of her clothes have gorgeous patterns, colors, and textures. She also sells her stuff in multiple locations and also has a Depop store. So it's easier to get your hands on her stuff. Highly recommended. And I don't know how they look so good with everything. Maybe. Maybe it's the unpredictable design of the clothes. Seeing how stylists use her clothes in different looks and shoots is really impressive. A little different from the other ones. This brand's clothes highlight figure and look super flattering on everyone. I can't test that theory for myself, so don't hold it to me. Tank Air is all about empowering women. That sounds so formal. But if you're a dude or a non-binary person watching this channel, wear their clothes and also be empowered. I think it's more about empowering femininity through these gorgeous two pieces. I heart all their bodysuits. I also feel like the colors are quite neutral, so they cater to everybody's styles. And again, these clothes are made from dead stock fabrics. Unless otherwise stated. And ding ding, slow fashion. Yay. Kalina Strada. She's not actually small by any means. She is independent, I believe. Whoa. Such 
a credible source. But I wanted to add her in here anyway because I mention her so much on my channel because her stuff is just so unique and so inexclusive. Just makes you feel useful and happy to look at it. I mean, look at it. Clothes don't get more feel good than that. And this has nothing to do with her clothes, but her fashion runways are my favorite. She always has such a variety of models, different ages, size, ethnicities, abilities. I'm a massive fan. Massive fan. But for those of you out there that may be thinking, it's a bit intense. Depending on your style, I know for me, I don't know if I'd match all of her pieces together necessarily. But individually, her stuff is so cherishable. And sustainable. And sustainable. Hmm. Most recent obsession. I had a dance yesterday just because scrolling this brand made me so happy. Does anyone else do that? <laughs> a bubble of joy when you discover new brands and see all the clothes I create and imagine wearing them? Or is that just me? I thought we were vibing here. Yuhan Wang. Which she perfectly describes as pretty, but with weirdness. My heart's beating really fast over all these scrunchies and the drapes. Kind of twist and turns and hangs in weird ways. So gorgeous. And the way this girl styled it is insane. So it isn't, again, something that needs to be styled, just the way a brand styles their clothes. You can wear it up or down as more casual or more glamorized. <sighs> what a babe. It's winter there, isn't it? Are you cold? I say this because I'm in Australia blasting the air conditioner. I know most of you are Northern Hemispheres. Let me know down below if you're introducing the knob rack. Knitwear. You'll want a hug. Knitwear you wear around cute person. The cute person will be either tempted to pat, touch, or hug you. Clothes that cute person may also just catch you hugging, cuddling, or touching yourself in. I don't know why that sounded so off. Look at how fluffy it is! So fluffy, I'm gonna die! And the thing is, it's not just fluffy. Their stuff is genuinely cute. And this surprised me. I mean, I genuinely like this sweater crop and this one. Give me this knitted top tee. Can I have that beanie? These two badasses are also about sustainable knitwear. They also sell vintage stuff. Can they adopt me? How cool is that? If you are a fan of Mason Clear, you'll also like this next one. Pa Moi. Also sustainable and made to order in dead stock fabric. This is an Aussie brand. Represent. <laughs> the style of this one is more minimal. Cutest knotted blouses. I'm also obsessed with the gorgeousness of the shape and the fit of all of their dresses. Screaming some vintage vibe. This brand is also more affordable, but equally cute. <laughs> Finally, this lady. Her shoes. Aren't they? I mean, look at them. Amy Crook has her clothes. Crooks? Crooks. Amy Crooks has her clothes made in Italy, and that is about all I could find out about her <laughs> on the internet. I respect her privacy though, so I'll let her line speak for itself. While she is a bit of a mystery, Kind of weird how someone is deemed a mystery for just having a modest online presence. But anyway, this stuff can be found in all big stores, Sands, Farfetch, Netta Porter, probably Nordstrom, Cafe Forgot is another cool one. Just to name a few. I want to live in these shoes. They would turn any outfit into a good time. And this dress, I'm just imagining summer, the heat. And it's nice when your clothes are just a light fabric and like ruffled, but still cute. Thank you guys for watching this video. 